Hello and welcome back to part two of my review on the Irish Brewing Company. Now this time I'll be looking at the whiskey coffee and the sweet cereal. I've got to state for the record, any views or opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this review. This products were kindly sent to me by Mark Powell from VapeExplorer.com for review purposes. Also got to state for the record, individual tastes, setups and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I'm going to tell you what I'm getting myself. Won't go through boxes, leaflets, labels and bottles in this part because I've done that in part one. We're just going to crack straight on with the review. Right, first one up. Sweet cereal. Have got a reminder that these, all these are a three milligram and are an 80-20 BGPG blend. And my weapon of choice today will be, as in part one, the G Proof 2. And that has got the S Vape. AIM-9 dripper, dual cord to 0.28. Here we go. Right, I'm going to start off at 48.9 watts, which is 3.7 volts. Here we go. Wow. First thing that hits you is lemon. That's a nice lemon. It's not a real lemon. It's just a subtle lemon. With a kind of a corn flaky back note. The corn flake's been done really well. It does actually blend very well. It does blend very nicely in with the lemon. I can see this being one that's going to make me hungry. I don't know what it is about cornflake vapes. I, I, I taste them and then I go, oh, I can do a bowl of cornflakes right now. You get the slightly sugared edge of the cornflakes. That lemon really does last. It lasts a long time, well into the exhale, and just hangs around in the mouth nicely. It blends very well with the cornflakes. That's nice. Mmm. I'm going to go up to 55.6 or 4 volts. But I'll be fair, I'll be quite happy at that lower the, the, the lower end of the watch on that one. Here we go. 4 volts. Oh, wow. Christ, that's a very mouth-watering lemon. I won't just find that. Oh, kind of get the cornflake at the end. Also, the cornflake's kind of gone a little bit cardboardy at the end, just because that initial lemon is like, jeez. I've got another little drip on that. Oh, great, that lemon is so strong. This is definitely a low power juice because that lemon just steams in and kicks off. <laughs> Good grief. It, it, over time, once that lemon dies down, the, um, the cornflakes will return to a natural cornflake flavour. But initially, it's a bit cardboardy. It's a bit. Oh, I don't know what's happened here. Grease that lemon. Fucking strong. Definitely low down on this one, guys. Higher up is an interesting flavour experience. Oh. It does take a while for the cut for the cardboard. <coughs> well, it does take some cardboard to be fair. 
for the cornflake element to come through because that lemon is just too strong. It's just kicking the living hell out of the actual cornflake flavor. Wow, that, everything is surviving in my mouth because that lemon is just pinging off all the areas on the tongue. Wow. That's a bit much. I'm going to go up. No, I really, really, really don't need to. To 61.2 watts. Or 4.2 volts. God, good God, that lemon. Here we go. 61.2 watts. Wow. Lemon is far too much. <laughs> the lemon at that point is actually starting to kind of give a little fizz. <laughs> which is a really weird and not completely pleasant sensation. <coughs> oh, Lord. <coughs> the lemon's too much. <laughs> You've broken me. The lemon is too much. Good grief. Oh, I'm crying lemon tears. Yeah, low down, this is a really, really nice, pleasant juice. Higher up, it's a bit on the attack. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, that sweet cereal, low down, that is a very, very nice juice. Higher up, oh my god, I'm not quite sure what the bloody hell's happened. That lemon just absolutely riots through the whole flavour. And then the mixture of the kind of cardboard, cardboardy cornflakes. Say so lower down, it's cornflakes, it's really quite, it's nice, it goes together really, really well. Higher up, oh my god. Oh. I'm going to blow out my dripper. Maybe throw it away. And I shall move on to the whiskey coffee. Yeah, we're drying it. One thing I will give these juices, mind you, um, this is now like the third one. I ran through this dripper and the coils and the wick are absolutely clean as anything. So these do not crap up your coils so far for what I've witnessed. And they don't crap up your cotton as well, which is always a bloody bonus. I hate juices that are absolutely packed with like, an artificial sweetener and all this other shit. It hasn't done that. It's, it's really kept the coils and cotton clean. Right, here we go. The whiskey coffee. There we go. We're moist. Here we go. We'll go back down to 48.9 or 3.7 volts. There we go. I've still got the taste of lemon in my mouth. It's not about this here. I can't shift it. Hopefully I don't taint this one too badly. There we go. Oh, that's good when you press the fire button and your mod goes, fuck you, I'm not going to fire. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> No throat head cloud production, as you can see from this ever decreasing visibility in this room, is superb. No throat hit. I'm so happy there's no throat hit. Flavour. This is rather nice. I'm always a little bit dubious when I see spirit flavours in juices. Because a lot of the time they've just they put too much in and you get you kind of get a spirit burn and then over time it builds up and it just gets a bit after a while. 
This has been blended really, really well. First off, you get a really nice kind of black coffee. With a, well, not quite a black coffee, but you can just say that little dash of cream in it. And the whiskey just gives a nice little ping at the end. It's quite a nice little chilled out vape, actually. Mm, like that so far. I'm going to go up to 55. God, I've said it again. 55.6. God. All this money to get my nose fixed now. My mouth does bloody work. Anyway, four volts or 55. Point six. That's really, really nice. The whiskey and the coffee go together so, so, so well. Oh. Go on a little bit higher up, that whiskey does come from a bit stronger, does come from a bit quicker. You kind of get everything on the inhale, then the exhale is kind of a pure whiskey one. But not to the point where you want a gag. Yeah, that's a nice, actually chilled out vape. It's not something I'll do all day, it's just something I'll dip into every now and again. But it is nice. It'd be a nice after dinner vape. Or even an end of the night vape. But yeah, I we'll like that a lot. Right, we're going to go up to 61.2 or 4.2 volts. Here we go. You do get the taste of that whiskey and coffee combination in your mouth for a while afterwards as well. Mmm. Higher up, that coffee goes up another level again. The whiskey lasts a little bit longer. I want the whiskey's a bit stronger, maybe a little bit too strong for me. It depends on how you like it. If you look like a really, really whiskey, very coffee, then I'll go high up with this one. If you like a nice combination, <coughs> I'll go for about mid ground on this one. Still nice. Not really get the spirit burn that you get off some of these whiskey flavours. But the whiskey is definitely more prominent as you go higher up. If you're a fan of coffee, you're a fan of whiskey blends, that is a pretty decent one. Give that one a go from the Irish Brewing Company. That is quite nice. I'm liking that a lot. Anyway, that brings me to the end of this review. If you have enjoyed it, please like, share, comment, and of course, vote. Yes, I'm still confused by this fact, but it happened. Uh, we've been nominated for Review of the Year on the um, Sub Ohms Magazine Awards. Um, so if you have enjoyed what you've watched today or what we generally do on the channel, please just pop over there and give us a little vote. It'd be much appreciated. So on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, head of the Department of Held Vapors, I bid you all a very good day and I hope to see you soon. Take care, people.